so anyway so now so what is snappy data um so the, our view is that it's really a very deep integration of because every every product today in the market right any, anything that's a data store as you guys probably know is integrating or, or already has integrated with spark through some sort of connector right that's not what we're talking about we're talking about something which is fairly deeply done right uh, where we're in some sense extending spark and making it absolutely ready for real time right so that's that's what we're doing and the way we do it is uh, we take sort of the gem for score design center in some sense right the low latency ha concurrency design center a product that's matured over the last 13 years uh, we actually are using gem for xt which is a sql extension to gem for because we're quite dependent on the structured data but more important more importantly dependent on indexing and optimizer enhancements in our sql engine with about you know to there are about 1200 plus customers on it and spark is it's 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 just a burgeoning huge community right there are a variety of aspects of spark we just love uh but but certainly love the fact that it can linearly scale with a very high throughput design center designed for batch and we fuse it together in some sense in our thinking right our target is really real time operational analytics uh and it's a primarily a main memory based focus we're not trying to sort of displace in some sense you know uh, uh the the mpp class databases that are designed for petabyte scale that are designed for very deep uh, learning uh, through batch analytics so so what are we doing here uh, we get uh, the row oriented store transactions and indexing support through our genfire pedigree right and and you essentially look at it as if it's a sql database you can come in through odpc jdbc and rest uh, that same if you may cluster also gives you a complete spark um, uh, so spark is embedded in it Uh, so you can essentially write if you may code and code store procedures using scala spark java python and in the future will support r uh, we also rely on spark stream processing right now we have a few extension the stream processing we completely rely on that and and we get essentially we use the same columnar format that spark has internally the the, the thing here with spark is that its columnar format is is immutable we essentially extend it so that it can continue to append to this columnar format and and we have a number of sql based extensions so essentially spark sql is very i should say um it's very minimal right all you can do is select so you can register temporary tables uh, what we have done is extended that sql you know quite a bit right so you can go right from all the dml statements you can have constraints you can have foreign keys you can have indexes you can do transactions so on and so forth um we are the first commercial project to introduce what's called as approximate query processing now i'll touch on it a little bit and uh, give you a little flavor which is the same the point the key point is making whether is there a way we can go even beyond what is possible in memory column stores for analytics and that's a ability to say can i condense my data structures quite a bit um snappy data itself can just natively just work a lot of it is just spark right spark has all these connectors already available right you can work with pretty much all relational databases obviously nice native connectors to work with hdfs and hadoop and hive uh, but we're also looking at uh, connectors for especially for instance for greenplum database right so looking to work well with mpp class databases also 